Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. I'm just watching the honeymoon. This is all one of my all time classics to watch. It goes on every New Year celebration. Hi, Kyle. Long time no see. Ha! Oh. Donald and Kyle. My long time friends since my childhood of the 1990s. Thanks for joining me. Whoa! Happy New Year to you too, Donald and Kyle. Wow. Yeah, this is my first video on Instagram going live. I never tried live before, so I'm trying it out. <laughs> it's just the honeymooners. <laughs> you see, Ralph Cramden always gets so confident doing things, but then in the end, he feels nervous, and he got himself, and he got himself into trouble. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. Oh! <laughs> Over ridiculous, <laughs> so embarrassing. I'm feeling okay, Donald. Hmm. I forgot to tell you, I'm watching two shows at the same time. The Honeymooners and Dick Clark's New Year's Rock and Eve. Oh, an episode is finishing right now, but one will come up. But I don't know which episode is going to be next. But I know the Honeymooners Blowout Marathon had just begun. It's not over. It's just beginning. And really, watching the Honeymooners is one of my favorite things to do every New Year's celebration. Especially Dick Clark's Rock and Eve. Especially the one after the ball drops in Times Square. Oh. Episode number two going on with the Honeymooners. What episode would they have next? I don't know what's it going to be. Whoops. 
<sighs> Type in the wrong key. Oh boy, oh boy. We see a problem, or you will bring us a problem, we're in there the next day, we follow that again and again. It's about really being a part of it. Whether it's housing, it's vaccines, whether it's about school. It's not just about what's happened, what's happening, but also what's going to happen, what you need to be ready for. And we try to make sure that we're there, we're on it, and we stay on it. Home is more than a place. It's that feeling. Trust Raymore and Flanagan to help make everyone feel right at home. As you gather and celebrate, we're here to help you create memories, all with style you love, at the best prices of the season. Home is where the holidays happen. Come find that feeling of home with us. Raymore and Flanagan. Hi, I'm New Jersey's Health Commissioner Judy Persichilli. This holiday season, let's spread cheer, not COVID. The best thing you can do to stay safe is to get your COVID booster to protect yourself, your family, and your friends. Boosters provide protection against the virus. Learn more about the COVID-19 booster at covid19.nj.gov. Have a safe holiday season. <laughs> New episode right now. Oh, oh, this is oh, this is the episode where where Ralph Cramley and misunderstood Ed Norton to betray him as his best friend, but he's celebrating. His 20th anniversary with his boss of working in the sewer. That's what the party is about. Thank you, Donald Anderson. I'll tell them you say Happy New Year. That's the honeymooners. Yep. Hi, Herman. Yep. Those are three out of the four characters that play the honeymooners. Uh uh. <laughs> oh no, Big Fat Ralph.
That's an understatement. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Are you guys listening to this? I got another beautiful surprise for you. Oh no. That ring is not for you. You mean it's not for me? Says an ad to my great pal, Smith Martin. For who's Martin's great pal? Me. That's right, it's your arm. And Martin wants that ring for Jim Medina. Jim Medina? What does he want to buy a ring for Jim Medina? Oh, boy. Now I get it. Well, I've met some schemers in my day. Oh, boy. Make that humans. That's so silly and immature. <laughs> but you're going to ask for his for her help. <laughs> you got to stop me in, in, into predicament, Ralph. Thank you. 
I told you it was an understatement. Oh man. not your fault, Ralph. Here we go. <laughs> so embarrassing. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Him and his big mouth. Yeah. 
was just down here, Ralph, and he expects to go bowling with you tonight. He said, go from down here and expect to go bowling with you. <coughs> and I said, I'm not going to fight you with fighting, man, but I put him up to go bowling with him. So they didn't start looking for another dog in my house. I'm through with him. I do when he bowled from now on. He was my good friend, Teddy Oakman. Teddy Oakman? Yeah, a good friend of mine. Who's Teddy Oakman? Very fine man. A guy with a lot of class. At least when you have a conversation with him, he talks about something other than the New York Zoo. Uh, he's quiet, he's been taken, he gets around. Real classy guy. Well, what does he do, Ralph? Watch the car. Uh, well, they got one thing in common. They both work the floor. Uh, yeah, but Teddy used to before I get the north. So stupid and silly. No, it's not. Oh no.
You shouldn't have done that. That's a lie. Now he's talking. Can't believe it. Six minutes until midnight. And that means it will be New Year's Day with 2022 officially here. Ah, unable to join. Well, this is my first TikTok live video. I tried to know how to use it, you know. Ah! No visitors. Oh no. Ouch. I got you, Kyle. Yes, I don't want to take you away from your focus of driving. Oh boy. Oh. 
Oh boy. Embarrassing. Oh no. I'm going to Dick Clark's Lark. I'm rocking Eve. Less than a minute. Six. Before. will be a better year than the previous year, even though that 2021 has been somewhat better for some certain people around the world, and COVID has been still going on with vaccinations being taken care of. Yeah.
Devin Hillary here. I'm back. I can't believe it. This is so cool. My Android is on one of my push-up grips, and I'm rotating it. And this will be a good rotator instead of using my hand to um, to hold it and show wherever I want to go. Hill, pop of the of the hill, hey number one. I love this song from Frank Sinatra. Blues. Melting away. Mm -hmm. Wow. Happy 2022, everybody. Can't believe it. Feels like nothing. Feels like nothing, but 2022 is here. Hopefully it will be more better than the previous two years with COVID going on. Well, well, the year 2022 had just begun. So did so is um, Dick Clark's Rock and Eve celebration. And it will not end until... It will not end until, um, yes, around 2 o'clock in the morning. About 2.15 or so. Mm. I'm just eating my popcorn, my late night snack. Hmm. What's, go what's going on in the other channel? Hello, Mom. Wait a minute. That's not hello, Mom. That should be the worry wart. It says hello, Mom, but that's a misinformation right there on the TV. The war rewards. This is one of the episodes that cracks me up. <laughs> Big fat Ralph.
Yikes! Pardon me with the bad quality, but I'm just showing you of the show that I'm watching The Honeymooners. The episode is entitled The Worry Mark. It's supposed to be that way, but it's miscalculated as, I mean, misinformated as, um, hello, mom. By the way, guys, um, all four characters who played the Honeymooners, they're all dead and gone, but they'll always be remembered. For example, Jackie Gleason died in 1987. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. As I said, back in 1987, Jackie Gleason, who played as Ralph Cramden, passed away. And, and you, and you, but you won't believe this. That's after the year I was born, 1986. Oh no, he's overreacting. Oh, excuse me about that, folks. My phone just slipped. Ah! Stupid phone. Sorry. Yeah, but Christmas is over. It's long gone. It's New Year's Day now. commercial staff. Never seen that commercial before. That's messed up. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> so reacting. It doesn't concern it doesn't concern you, Ralph. Oh, excuse me for me talking. That's a Spanish word for. <laughs> Gambies. Blabbermouth. Yeah, Feliz Nuevo as I was saying right now, means some. Um, Happy New Year in Spanish.
wonder what's that. I don't know what it's worth, but I want to know what what the skinny chicken is or was back then. Sounds like nothing. <laughs> what is that? Online. What does those number mean? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. What type of stupid idea is that? Oh, sounds bizarre. <laughs> Dumb sign. Commercial Meow Mix. And meat texture with a mouth watering gravy coating. Meow Mix, tasty layer. The only one that's for my name. Cute little cat. Here's one of some pop up issues affecting all of us. We are talking to us, Dan Mannerini. On Pix 11's Sunday morning show, Pix on Politics. We have a crisis at the end, especially the place like Trump. Federal money will have to leave the world for small businesses. And New York is taking a note. This is the exact moment for this kind of show. Picks on politics. Sunday mornings at 7.30 on New York's very own Picks 11. 
You and your big fat self. Let him find Calm and cool. Calm and cool. And cool. <laughs> Calm and cool, huh? <laughs> what is that? Let me see what's going on at Title Seven. Oh, I apologize for that sound in the background. It's just a hot water heater after the heat was on. Here's Sierra. Yes, Walker Hayes. No, Walker Hayes. Really, this artist I don't know. You see, there's a lot of new artists on Dick Clark's Rock and Eve of being new recording artists that I've never seen or heard before. Not even listened to. Yep, there's a lot of artists I'm not acquainted with. Oh, by the way, um, Dick Clark's Rock and Eve for this year is the 50th one. Can't believe it. 50 years of Dick Clark's Rock and Eve. Five decades. Can you believe it? Ice Girls. Oh, they're showing a throwback. 1998. I was still a child back then. In my late ages as a child. Ready to go to the 
Oh boy, look at all that confetti on the street, that Times Square. Ah, that's a pity the police are hopping to be played out. Well, guys, it's been okay, but I'm going to try to end my live video right here. It's not the best one, but it's my first one, though. Of course, on the other hand, I do want to thank some of my friends who managed to join me. So better luck for the next video chat that I'm going to do. Until then, again, Happy New Year 2022 to everybody. Good night, and God bless you all.